They're in the gate. Freudian analyst from the extreme outside goes for the lead as Grotto Swing now moves up along with Black Irish. Grotto Swing and Black Irish, their heads apart for the lead. A vow of beauty sits right behind in third. Me and Sap is down on the inside in fourth. And alongside is Have a Heart in fifth. Then comes a light in sixth. Followed by Freudian analyst who broke on top. Is now back running in seventh. And trailing the field is Tercero in eighth. The opening quarter went in 23 and one fifth seconds as they move around the far turn. Black Irish on the inside. And on the outside, it is Grotto Swing. The two of them right together. They've got a length and a half on me and Sap, who's down at the rail. A vow of beauty on the outside. They're third and fourth, heads apart. Then we come back to Have a Heart and a Light, followed by Freudian Analyst and Tercero. The half went in 47 and two-fifth seconds, three-sixteenths to the finish. It's Black Irish closest to the rail. Grotto Swing on the outside. Me and Sap is in third. Inside the eighth pole now, and it is Grotto Swing looking to pull off a big upset here. Me and Sap driving up on the outside. Grotto Swing, me and Sap, they come for the finish. Grotto Swing by a neck. Me and Sap was second. Tercero came from way out of it to get third. Black Irish was fourth. Number four, Grotto Swing was first. Number one, me and Sap second. Number seven, Tercero finished third. Number three, Black Irish was fourth. The results unofficial. Four, one, seven, three. The time was one minute, 13 seconds. Jen Emily now moving back into the starting gate. And once again, we're ready for race two. And uh, they're off. Foxtail, Kansas Kiss. Flash and Dynamite. And from that inside post position, now Jen Emily moves up. Foxtail and Jen Emily, and they are heads apart for the lead. And they've got a little more than a length on Kansas Kiss, who's running in third, followed by Flash and Dynamite in fourth. And stand for the flag is the trailer in fifth as the field heads up the back stretch. Jen Emily down at the rail, pokes ahead in front of Foxtail. The quarter went in 23 and two-fifth seconds. Flash and Dynamite. Sits just behind the front two in third. And on her outside is Kansas Kiss in fourth. Two and a half lengths. Back to stand for the flag who continues to trail. A battle continues up front. Foxtail on the outside and Jen Emily down at the rail. They remain heads apart after a half and 47 and two. Kansas Kiss. Flash and Dynamite, their heads apart, third and fourth. And now stand for the flag is drawn within three and a half lengths for the lead and is moving up on the outside. Foxtail narrowly over Jen Emily. Kansas Kiss on the outside in third. Flash and Dynamite will need some racing room. Widest of all is stand for the flag who continues to gain as they pass the quarter pole. And here comes Kansas Kiss now to take over. Kansas Kiss is in front. Flash and Dynamite moving into second. Stand for the flag on the outside in third. With an eighth of a mile to the finish. It is Kansas Kiss in front. Flash and Dynamite is all out and gaining ground towards the rail. It's Kansas Kiss. Here's Flash and Dynamite to take over in deep stretch. Flash and Dynamite, the winner by a length. Kansas Kiss was second. Stand for the flag, finish third.
Number three, Flash and Dynamite first. Number four, Kansas Kiss second. Number two, Stand for the Flag was third. And number five, Foxtail finished fourth. Results unofficial. Three, four, two, five. The time for the mile was one minute, 40 seconds. There in the gate. And they're up. Home run maker from the outside. Reed Can is right there along with Shamrock. Reed Can has a neck in front of Shamrock. And on the outside is home run maker who is a close up third. Vichy sits just behind those front runners in fourth. And then it is the Sakari. It's Reed Can leading by three quarters of a length. Shamrock runs in second. It's another length to home run makers on the outside of Vichy through a quarter in 23 and one fifth seconds. The Sakari is fifth. They race midway around the far turn. Reed Can on the inside and Shamrock on the outside. And the two of them are heads apart. Now it's a length and a quarter. Back to the trio of home run maker, the Sakari, and Avishi, who's down towards the rail. The field is at the head of the stretch. It's Reed Can who has the lead here. It's Reed Can in front, getting clear now to lead by almost three lengths. Vichy down at the rail, home run maker on the outside, then Shamrock and the Sakari. Reed Can, Vichy at the rail, Reed Can in front, Vichy one last try as they come on for the finish. Reed Can, Vichy, Reed Can did it. Vichy was second, farther back, home run maker finished third. Number four, Reed Can was first. Number one, Vichy second. Number six, home run maker finished third. Number three, the Sakari was fourth. Results unofficial. Four one six three. Time of the race one minute eleven and one fifth seconds. They're all in. And they're off. A slow beginning for number three, Firing Carol. She's at the uh, back, towards the back of the pack. Up front, it is Baba, who has the lead with Mun Love racing in second. I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost runs in third. Command and Control, the favorite, is next in fourth. Cole Shaft on the outside runs in fifth. After the slow start, Firing Carol has moved up on the inside. It's a half dozen lengths back to the two trailers, Lightfoot Miss and Rhythm and Power. The quarter went in 23 and two-fifth seconds as the field Races up the back stretch, and it is Baba on top here by a length. Munlove runs in second, and now gaining ground on the outside there is a Cole Shaft. Cole Shaft is up to second. Munlove is now in third. I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost runs in fourth. Firing Carroll down at the rail in fifth. Command and control is sixth. Now five and a half lengths from the lead. A big break. Back to the trailers, Rhythm and Power, and a Lightfoot Miss. The field goes around the far turn. The half was running 48-1. and one. It is Baba on the inside and Cole Shaft on the outside. Baba, 
Cole Shaft. Now they're heads apart for the lead. They've got two and a half lengths on Mun Love in third. I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost is fourth. And Firing Carroll, then Command and Control. Three quarters in 114, and the field is in the stretch. And it is a Baba with the lead here. Cole Shaft is all out on the outside. It is Baba still in front. Cole Shaft is in second. I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost is third. Now is 16th to the finish. Baba trying to hold off Cold Chaff. I ain't afraid of no ghost coming on from third. They come down for the finish. It is Baba closest to the inside. Appeared to pull off the big upset. Baba was there with Cold Shaft, and I ain't afraid of no ghost. Number five, Baba was first. Number eight, Cole Shaft second. 1A, I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost was third. And number seven, Lightfoot Mist finished fourth. Results are unofficial. 5, 8, 1A, 7. The time was 1 minute 41 and 4 fifth seconds. They're all in. And they're off. Slow beginning for number four, Wicked Title. And she's at the back of the pack. Here's Jackie Milton going out for the lead with Pendolino and Alexa Kratt on the extreme outside. Gentle Annie will make that Lana Grita, who's down at the rail. As they move up the back stretch, it is Jackie Milton who has the lead. And it is Gentle Annie who's running in second. Linda Grita down at the rail in third. The gray Pendolino on the outside in fourth. Evans Nice now is in the mix in fifth. After the slow start, Wicked Title now advances into sixth. Then it's Alexacrat and Turpi. The quarter went in 24 seconds. Jackie Milton leads here by a length. With Gentle Annie in second by a head. Pendolino's on the outside in third. Evans Nice now is down at the rail in fourth. Wicked Title is alongside in fifth. It's almost four lengths back to Turpi. Lana Grita has dropped way back as the field comes for the top of the stretch, the half in 48 and two. It is still Jackie Milton, the one to catch here. Jackie Milton's in front. Pendolino all out on the outside. Gentle Annie is in third. And then it is Wicked Title with a furlong to the finish. It is Jackie Milton in front here by a little more than a length. Pendolino on the outside in second. And Wicked Title is next in third. They are coming down for the finish. And Jackie Milton is going to do it in front running fashion. Turned out to be close for second between Wicked Title and Pendolino. Gentle Annie was fourth.
Number one, Jackie Milton was first. Number four, Wicked Title second. Number six, Pendolino finished third. And number five, Jenna Landy was fourth. Results unofficial. One, four, six, five. Time of the race, one minute, 27 and two-fifth seconds. And they're off. A good beginning from that inside post for Heirloom Kitten, and he's going out for the early lead. Heirloom Kitten quickly joined there by Road to Meath, and on the outside, it's 12th Labor. Then a break of almost two lengths. Back to uh, Tri St. Lorenzo, who is racing in fourth. Fotis is down on the inside in fifth, followed by True Blue Giant and Latin Love Bug. The field races up the back stretch. Road to Meath by three quarters of a length. Twelfth labors on the outside and second through a quarter in 23 and three. Heirloom Kitten down at the rail, races in third. Right alongside is Tri St. Lorenzo. Then a break of three lengths. Back to Fotis, who's in fifth. Followed by True Blue Giant and Latin Love Bug. The field approaches the half-mile pole. Road to Meath by a half-length. Twelfth Labor on the outside runs in second. Try St. Lorenzo is now third by a length over Heirloom Kitten. Opening half went in 47-4, and four, and they're midway around the far turn. It's Road to Meath on the inside and 12th labor on the outside and now they're stride for stride for the lead they're right together try st lorenzo just off them in third heirloom kitten is in behind horses in fourth and latin love bug is fifth and now the field is at the top of the stretch here is 12th labor to grab the lead here it's 12th labor in front heirloom kitten now comes on through down on the inside the challenge it's heirloom kitten and 12th labor the two of them are heads apart for the lead and heirloom kitten has now taken in the lead. Twelfth Labor runs in second. Tri St. Lorenzo is third. And it is Heirloom Kitten as the even money favorite to win here by a length and a half. Twelfth Labor was second. Tri St. Lorenzo finished third. Number one, Heirloom Kitten was first. Number nine, Twelfth Labor second. Number six, Tri St. Lorenzo finished third. Number eight, Latin Love Bug was fourth. Results unofficial. One nine, six eight. The time was one minute thirty eight and four fifth seconds. They were in the gate. And we're off. Shotsky away well from the inside. High velocity is in mid pack and now moving up. Mad Money's is there. And on the outside, it's Empty Tomb. High velocity has the lead. Then it's the trio of Empty Tomb, Mad Money's, and Shotsky down at the rail. Montauk traffic. Races in fifth position in the early going. Right alongside is a Zoomer in sixth. It's two and a half lengths to the two trailers, Kumar and Malibu Pro. The quarter went in 23 
and two fifth seconds. It is Mad Money's on the inside and high velocity on the outside. The two of them are heads apart. Shotsky is down at the rail and racing a close up third. And then it is Montauk traffic. Zoomers in between. On the outside is Empty Tomb. Break of four to uh, Malibu Pro and Kumar. The half, 46 and three fifth seconds. Mad Money's has come away with the lead here. Shotsky is down at the rail. High velocities on the outside in third. Then Zoomer and Empty Tomb. Montauk traffic has dropped to the back of the pack, being passed now on the outside by Kumar and Malibu Pro. It is Mad Money's with the lead into the stretch. Three quarters went in 112. Mad Money's has a three length lead. Empty Tomb moving into second. Zoomers down at the rail in third. Malibu Pro on the outside in fourth. Mad Money's looking to pull off an upset here. It's Mad Money's in front by three. Mad Money's coming down to the finish with the lead and is going to score here at 17 to 1. Empty Tomb was second. Then Zoomer and Malibu Pro to complete the Superfecta. Number two, Mad Money's was first. Number eight, Empty Tomb second. Number four, Zoomer was third. And number 10, Malibu Pro fourth. Results unofficial. 2 8 4 10. The time was 1 minute 39 seconds. Delucent, the gray is going out for the lead with what's my category and the two of them hook up early and they've opened up three lengths on dot day's map who's racing in third dream point down on the inside runs in fourth sonic speed is next in fifth you've got mail is alongside in sixth on the extreme outside is a huge checkpoint in seventh Kickerland is down on the inside in eighth and then it is bellamy dolce who is running in ninth position a big break Back to 99, George. And being pulled up is a Captain Remington. The quarter went in 23 and one-fifth seconds. It's What's My Category on the inside. Knock Delucent has moved to the outside of What's My Category for the run through the stretch. Dream Point is next in third. Then Kickerland in fourth. The half went in 47 and one. And now there's an eighth of a mile to the finish. It is What's My Category, Knock Delucent on the outside. Knock Delucent and What's My Category, they will battle it out to the finish here. Knock Delucent on the outside, now grabs the lead, and it will be Knock Delucent to win it here by a half length. What's My Category was second. It was a huge break. Back to Dream Point in third.
Number three, Knock the Lucid was first. Number six, What's My Category, second. Number four, Dream Point was third. Number nine, Kickerland finished fourth. Results unofficial. Three, six, four, nine. The time, one minute, 12 and two-fifths seconds.